Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the time walking event for the Burning Crusade. This is an event that just started today and that will last until next week. And I will explain how you can make some gold very easily during this event. So all you want to do is go on all your different characters that can queue for time walking. And you just want to queue for the random time walking dungeons. It's way easier to find a group if you're playing on a healer or, or a tank. So if you're playing any class, I would recommend you to just switch to tank or healer if you don't really have like the correct stuff because it's still very easy to do. And like that, you will enter way more easily. After that, all you want to do is complete the dungeon. And on the last boss, once per character, you will get one of these swirling time wrapped VL. And when you complete the quest with this VL, you will receive 500 of the time wrap badges. And this is really what we're after in today's video. So what I would recommend you to do is really to do that on all your different characters. Each time do it once, get the 500 and do what I'm just going to explain now. So basically, when you have all these different time wrap badges, all you want to do is come here. So as I mentioned, complete the quest, receive the 500 badges, and then you can buy all sorts of items from mounts, toys, and all these other uh, items that are linked to the Burning Crusade. But what we are after in today's video are these bag of fishing treasures. Because basically in these different bags, you have a chance at getting some pretty good items. And really, this is what we are after in today's video. So normally in order to get this bag of fishing treasures, you want to like complete a daily fishing quest that is located just next to Shatrat and each time you will receive one of these bag of fishing treasures. And then inside the bag, you can really get many different type of items. So the best items we're after in today's video are going to be all the different pets. These are all crocodilisks and this is the only way uh, to get these different pets. You also have a couple more items that can be interesting. So for instance, you have the Noble's Monocle. This one uh, right now is not so interesting, but with Dragonflight, normally most of these gray and white quality items will be added to the transport system. And so if that's the case, definitely these type of items will become extremely relevant. You also have the Ornate Drinking Stain and the Razor Sharp Fillet Knight. So all these different items are interesting, but really, these are the four pets we're really after in today's video. So when it comes to the value of all these different items, for Mugbreath, the first pet on European realms, you will be able to sell it for anywhere between 10 to 11,000 gold, and on US realms for anywhere between 9 to 10,000 gold. For Chuck, it will be between 10 to 11,000 gold on European realms, and then 8.4 to 9.4 thousand gold on US Realms. For Snarly, it's going to be between 11.2 to 11.4 thousand gold on European Realms and 9 to 10 thousand gold on US Realms. For Tufi, it's going to be between 9 to 10 thousand gold on European Realms and 7.5 to 8.4 thousand gold on US Realms. And then after that, for instance, for the Nobles Monocle, as you can see right now on European Realms, you can set it for anywhere between 20 to 64 thousand gold. And on US realms, 25 to 46,000 gold. And for the Ornate Drinking Stain, it's like anywhere between 10 to 43,000 gold on European realms and 8 to 100k on US realms. So normally, again, on average, you will get a little bit more than 500 per run uh, on each character. For instance, if you're doing it on a character that has a little bonus, you will normally get even more. So like up to 600 in total. After that, you will normally be able to buy three to four of these bags per character if you really just do this dungeon in 10 minutes and then directly go and buy these different bags. So let me try just now to buy like these different bags. So I'm going to buy four of them and see if I'm lucky or not. Again, keep in mind that it's only like 11% chance each time. So many times you won't get anything good, but this is Again, something you can do pretty easily and you can try your luck and maybe get one of these pets. So let me open these ones. Okay, so that's already one pet. Here, that's another pet. So actually pretty good so far. Here, I got also this uh, Ornate Drinking Stain and that's going to be pretty much it. And of course, you can sell the rest as well on the auction house, but this is really what we're after. And again, after that, all you want to do is click on the pet, learn it and cage it. And like that, you will then be able to sell it 
on the auction house uh, for, again, a pretty good value on most realms. And as you can see on another of my characters, I opened four more of these different bags. And this time I got three pets and also two of the daggers. So definitely you will get quite a lot of pets and items and it's definitely interesting. So really, this is extremely easy to do. I would really recommend you to do it on all your different characters that can do these different dungeons. Just one dungeon and then you will get the quest. And after that, the five or 600 uh, time warp batches. And like that, you can make quite a lot of gold with these different bags. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold during this event. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great week. Bye.